Uh, good morning. My name is Enrique Chauran. I am with the National Council La Raza. I want to thank you all for being here today. I wanted to briefly acknowledge some of our members of our host committee who are with us today and thank them for all of their support. Also, the affiliates who are joining us here today, the NCLR affiliates specifically, the Guadalupe Centers, El Centro, Maddie Rhodes, Turner House, and Harvesters. I want to thank you all for all of your work. Also want to uh, acknowledge some of the other uh, dignitaries we have today. We have several members of the City Council here. Uh, Councilman uh, Scott Wagner, Councilwoman Hill, Councilwoman Curls, and uh, in a minute I'm going to introduce a few more other dignitaries. So we're going to get started and I'm going to invite uh, Mayor Pro Tem Cindy Serco to give a few remarks. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. This is so exciting for Kansas City. Um, I was uh, in, I'm in my second term and went through the first bid, which was very disappointing for Kansas City, but I think that was a moment in time where the NCLR really realized where their grassroots passion in Kansas City was. So many of us were here and, and it's excited for them to come back, give us a, a shot. Um, this is home for a lot of people and we're so excited that you're here. This is a conference that represents the largest and most important gathering of the nation's most influential individuals, organizations, institutions, and companies working in the Hispanic community. And it also is our the fearless leader, Janet McGarry's 10th anniversary as president and CEO. So it's a great year to be back in Kansas City. We were happy to host you in 2009 we're ecstatic to host you in um, this coming year. It's exciting to all the events that are going to be happening. Uh, Kansas City cannot be any more thankful that you've chosen us once again to host your Aon Conference. Thank you so much for being here. The city plans to participate in the Community Expo, and I think you'll hear a little bit about that a little bit as we go forward, especially to recruit potential employees. We'll have representatives from our talent acquisition divisions uh, in, uh, of our human resources department and recruiters from the P fire and police department. Uh, we don't have a lot of open positions, but we do have a couple of dozen right now, and that includes everything from tree trimmers to managers, and uh, the percentage of Latinos and Hispanics in our workforce is lower than it needs to be, and that's an effort that the, goal, effort that the city has placed to try to raise the level of participation in our workforce as we go forward. So this is a great opportunity to market the city and to market the employment opportunities with the city, so it's a great partnership where we can all rise together. It was exactly uh, 10 years ago that I had a chance to uh, travel to the great city of Kansas City for the first time. And at the time, what you don't know is that I was pretty banged up. I had just had a car accident uh, months before. I had broken my legs, I had broken my jaw. Uh, I was in the hospital for about a month. I, I almost lost my life. It was through that experience, and I'm sharing this with you because of, of the connection to Kansas City. It was through that experience that I learned a very valuable lesson, and I have to share that with you today. Never, and I mean never, let a Puerto Rican drive in the snow. <laughs> not good, not good. In all seriousness, what an honor. What an honor, what a beautiful opportunity for all of us at Toyota to be able to come uh, to Kansas City uh, in partnership with NCLR uh, to serve as title sponsors of, of this great conference. Uh, it's been 16 years uh, since we started our partnership with, with NCLR and Janet, as you know, uh, we're, we're uh, we're in it for the long haul. Uh, we're here to stay. Uh, On behalf of Sprint, I would like to say how excited we are to be the host city sponsor this year for the 2015 NCLR conference. We have had a long history with NCLR also spanning 10 plus years and we are excited this year that we could step up our sponsorship with the conference being in our own backyard. Our CEO, Marcelo Claré, is looking forward to participating at the conference and being able to share Sprint's transformation story and our commitment to the Latino community and our Latino market. It is my great pleasure to represent 435,000 UPS employees around the world and to tell you how grateful we are to be able to have this opportunity to support NCLR again for their national conference. As many of you may know, UPS has a history of 33 years with NCLR and we again continue to want to be a long-term partner. 
It's an honor again to, to support the conference here in Kansas City, but I want to make sure that everybody knows that Kansas City is the home of the jam session. And I think everybody in here knows that we are going to have our own gigantic jam session in just a few weeks. Many of you may know or may not know that UPS specifically supports the Esperanza pro um, program. Try that again, the Escalara program. And we are very, very excited to say that if you didn't know, more than 88% of the high school juniors and seniors that participate in that particular program are on their way to graduation. So let's give that a big hand if we can. I am so pleased and proud to be here today. A day that's finally come for me in my tenure as president and CEO of the National Council of La Raza the largest Latino civil rights and advocacy organization in this country. It has long been my hope to bring our annual conference during my tenure back home here to Kansas City. So that day is coming soon, in a mere three weeks. We will be convening in the single largest gathering of its kind, uh, the largest gathering of Latino leaders, but also of our partners and allies and those who have worked with our community. So I do want to start uh, by giving special thanks uh, to uh, Mayor Sly James, uh, the, uh, the City Council and the members who are here today, and the City Manager, not only for hosting us today, but for all the support that they have given us to bring this conference uh, here. And we look forward to um, the mayor's welcoming remarks on the opening day of our conference. And so I do want to thank also Mayor Pro Tem uh, Serco and uh, also uh, the, all the different employees here at the city who have been so wonderful. As you have heard, the NCLR annual conference is coming July 11th through the 14th. We last had our conference here in 1989, and uh, that is just far too long a gap. And especially because it has been a long time goal of mine since I became president of NCLR 10 years ago to host the conference in this area in my hometown. You know, families like mine, the Mergias, go way back in the Kansas City metro area uh, coming to Kansas City more than 60 years ago. But my family is not the only one. There are now hundreds of thousands of families who have had that journey and that experience and whose roots even extend beyond that. You are going to hear a lot about what will be going on at our conference, but one of the reasons why it is so important to bring the conference back here is the opportunity to tell Casey's story to the rest of the nation. First, we want to let our attendees know about Kansas City's strong commitment to diversity as embodied by the coalition building efforts of both Mayor James and Kansas City, Kansas Mayor Mark Holland. Second, you know, we want to tell the great untold story of Hispanics in this area. Most people think of our community as being concentrated in states like California, uh, Texas, and uh, Florida and New York, but the Midwest is also home to a strong and growing Latino community and has been for a long time. There's just going to be a number of wonderful opportunities, all of which are mostly free. The expo hall, the workshops, and the town halls are all free and at the convention center July 11th through the 14th. Uh, our luncheons you need tickets for, but that's really the only thing that we uh, see as uh, uh, otherwise we're open to the public and we want everybody to participate. This is a real opportunity for our community, again, to learn and to be educated and to be motivated and inspired and for us to showcase this uh, wonderful city, which I'm proud uh, to call part of my hometown. So thank you all very much. We appreciate you being here today. Thank you.